I'm Joelle and you're watching Fluffy Kawaii Show and today I'm coming to you with the haul of all the dresses and skirts and all the clothes that I bought in Tokyo. As you may know, I just came back from a two week vacation in Tokyo and actually I just sold a big couch that was very expensive and I had a budget of at least $1,000 to buy dresses. I can tell you already that I bought a lot but I did not reach my budget at all. Probably I spent a few hundred dollars because everything was very affordable. I don't think I bought one thing that was more than 120 or 140 maybe. So really, really cheap and really beautiful. So I bought 16 pieces. Half of them are dresses. Can you believe it? So that's not all I bought. I also bought many accessories and a lot of stuff from Daiso but since it was going to be huge 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 haul I decided to do three videos so you can go watch the video from everything I bought from Daiso and go watch the video of all the accessories that I bought in Japan so without further ado let's go with the haul of the dresses let's start with the skirts First, I bought that skirt from Metamorphose. It's wine colorway with velvet print of roses and Metamorphose written in black. And that is really, really gorgeous. And I can wear it as Lolita with the petticoat or I could totally wear that just in everyday life without a petticoat to make a more autumnal look and it's gorgeous. I can't wait to try it. Next one is this black dress. From Access Farm. Do you know that I love Access Farm? I bet you do because you will see that maybe half of what I bought is from Access Farm. And this skirt, maybe it was a bit more expensive, maybe it was $25 or something, but I really, really fell in love with it. So it has a layer of mesh, and inside of it, they have a pattern of snowflakes and stars and moon and everything on a very pretty chiffon layer and so it's really classy and of course again i can wear it with lolita even though it's kind of short i have shorter petticoats but mostly it's gonna be to have a more autumnal look and everyday life so i'm really happy i love this skirt maybe i paid a bit more because it's closer to the original price than to the price I've seen for stuff like that in Closet Child, but hey, I really loved it. So yeah, a lot of stuff that I bought from Closet Child. The one in Ikebukuro have a lot of things from Access Farm and there were things as cheap as $5, 500 yen. So I bought so many things. And another skirt is this mint skirt. Again, it's a shorter skirt that I can wear every day. And it's fully shirt, so I can fit in it. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Can't wait to try it. Next is tops. So this is also from Access Fam. This is kind of a hoodie, cardigan, really, really casual. So, this is really for every day and it has short sleeves and the inside of the hood is lace. I kind of really like that style and it can go with the jeans or really very casual stuff. I love stuff like that that, that I can wear every day. Next up is this top and the sleeves are really weird. They're kind of triangles like that and they have nothing on the bottom just hanging and it's very pretty also it has embroidery on the front and of course it's again from access farm and it was super cheap so i think stuff i bought from access farm were between 12 and 5 dollars so i was like let's go and i 
another piece from Excess Femme. And it's mint and has lace sleeves and chiffon top on top of another layer so the back is very cute very cool and I wore this under the denim skirt that I will show you later and it's super cool and it's super light very good for hot summer super heavy next up is something that I actually bought from Access Fan, but in the real store can't remember the price, it was not really expensive, maybe 20 bucks. And actually I've seen it under another top. So the whole thing is that you have those things that you can cross in front. You can cross it here and you have this. And so actually this top was worn under a big white collar white shirt. And it was so pretty. I really liked it and if not you can just remove if you don't want this you can just remove them here but this is what makes the whole the whole thing so I'm really happy and the color is gorgeous so I'm really really looking forward to wear it the last one is a cut sole blouse from Angelic Pretty and I'm kind of sad that I did not buy more blouses I tried more but they did not fit me well it's always hard to fit in the brand blouses but hey so this one is like jersey cotton here and with embroidery angelic pretty here and it has sleeves that are in chiffon and transparent and it's gorgeous 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 i've already worn it in another video and i really love it Though it's really hot because this material here is kind of thick so it's I don't know because the sleeves are really light and here it's very hot so definitely I did not wear it in Japan because I would have died but yeah let's see how I can wear it if it's too warm for inside or, let's see but probably more winter than summer or inside of a very air-conditioned room but it's gorgeous and the buttons are one gold heart one pearl one gold heart one pearl very 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 pretty I'm super happy about it and it was really not expensive again next up is sad <laughs> again from Access Femme and it's a very beautiful dress and I really love the print, it has castles and everything. The color is not exactly the best color because on my skin tone it's kind of almost the same skin tone so it doesn't show so much but the real problem is this. Basically you have shearing here and some shearing in the back but you have that piece of lace here that is not stretchy and so it pushes my boobs like that and it's really ugly on me so even though it fits it fits really really ugly on me so I will have to sell it and that sucks because I love it it's really gorgeous but I don't fit in it so that's sad to keep it so Look at my lace market! You might find that beautiful dress! Link down there! Next are the dresses! Big, big dresses! Next up is a dress from Metamorphose! Really? I would never thought that I would own two pieces from Metamorphose? Let's go! So, I just fell in love with the fabric and the color. So, it's kind of a thick... In French we say soie sauvage, so I don't know how to say that, but it's kind of a silk fabric that has very gorgeous reflections and kind of a texture, so it's really pretty. I really like the bottom, it's very really pretty. I don't like the bodice so much with those pieces here, but that's okay. And something else that I love is those ribbons that you can cross in front like this so I really like that 
I just don't know with what I will wear it, probably just white for the moment, but probably also black will be beautiful with this. So yeah, very beautiful, beautiful dress. And you'll see with the dress I'm buying, I'm really not going too much into the print stuff and sweet stuff. And the style I'm going into is really different from where I started Lolita like a year and a half ago I started really buying Lolita and yeah even in such a short time I bought so many different dresses maybe I'm just finally starting to dress my age next piece is from Enchantling in Chantilly and it's maroon and it's huge huge dress and you can actually open the ribbons here and decide at which height you want to pull the bow here or here and you can really make different dresses with that and also the bust is fully shirt so i was sure that i will fit but i think it will be totally the kind of piece very very beautiful with a corset over it so maybe a black corset like those smalls that come up to here and uh, yeah i think that would be the perfect dress for that and it's an op so i don't need to put something under it but it's really heavy it has built-in pity so yeah i'm kind of happy i think this is a dress that i'll have to wear at a tea board of them or something because it's kind of really big and really OTT and not very casual but yeah uh, see basic pieces that I'm buying I mean basic colored one not too printy so something else that I bought in closet child right now almost everything except the maroon tank top was from closet child and so this one is also from Access Fam and it's a very casual dress that is very light denim and very cute. So I wore it with the mint top that I showed you before and it was really cool. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to wear that kind of stuff again and next is something that i did not buy from closer child i bought it from borderline in the store so that was a dress that i saw online and i was considering buying it and i was actually considering buying the mint version and uh, did not have it in 2l which is my size so i got this black one instead but actually all of them were kind of pretty i've been wearing it in japan even though it's very thick and it's very pretty my boyfriend doesn't like it because it has flowers and it looks like a grandma but really actually i really really love it and it was 40 bucks new and i'm sure that if i bought it online it was even cheaper even though i saw today that uh, somebody said that the prices have gone up on the website again so i'm happy and if i end up finding the main version in my size i would probably buy it because i really love that op and for last three different pieces that i bought from closet child that are from angelic pretty this dress that I totally forgot the name of. I had to look it up in the library and it's very, very classy. And I've worn it on one episode of Kawaii International with my angelic pretty blouse, white blouse. And I actually bought the cinema doll bracelet to go with it because I thought it would totally go with it. And that kind of dress I could totally wear for a party, a birthday party, a wedding or anything like it's so close to normal fashion that people would totally accept me wearing Lolita 
that looks like that and so I'm super happy because it's angelic pretty it's gorgeous but I could totally wear it in normal situations and next is one of my dream dresses that I so wanted to buy so I went to the closet child in Yokohama and I found it yay this is eternal carnival and I totally totally looked at all the colorways and I could not find the one I preferred and I was super super into the ivory one and my friend Kali has it and I was so so in love with it and this was not really the cut that I preferred because this was actually the one that had an overskirt in lace over it and I thought it was so not cool because it hid the print at all and so if I had that cut I would never wear the overskirt but it came without the overskirt so I don't mind and actually it's a bit tight here around my boobs because I don't know if it's, your boobs are supposed to go here and this is under but me it's totally here in the middle so it's a bit tight here but it's really really gorgeous and I love it and that was supposed to be my last trip to a closet child I actually went to all the closet childs they had in Tokyo and Yokohama at least four and then on Sunday just one day before leaving we were back in Harajuku to go to Maison de Julieta and to get my nails done and I said like, okay let's just go watch very quickly in closet child and it was 10 days after I had first come to that closet child and this is what I saw the same exact dress but this is the special set so it has a very different bodice and it's mint and it also came with the head bow that I put in the hole of the accessory so if you want to see the head bow go watch the other video and actually I have worn those two dresses to make videos and I actually am so much more comfortable in this one because it does not compress my boobs and so I, f I am totally more comfortable in this one plus it's mint and it has a lot of pink which is totally colors that I already have accessories for and mint is my favorite look color you know that so I think I'm gonna keep this one and I might sell that other one because I don't think I need two dresses of the same print and when I bought the second one I was totally knowing that I would sell the one that I don't fit in as much so yeah lace market maybe you want to acquire that beautiful piece because I actually really love it and the bodice is really really pretty so maybe if you're just a little bit less busted than me I'm 96 centimeters I have no idea what this is in inches but yeah it's a bit too tight for my European boobs so maybe if you're Asian it will go well so this is my new baby I'm so happy in it I fit in it so well that I'm so 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 happy and the print is just gorgeous just gorgeous I uh, actually love the carousels and the tones there everything is pretty and it's really a classic sweet dress so you can really make it look super classic even though it's super sweet but yeah I'll see what I'll do with it but I love it so much yay so that was my haul, that was the third of my three hauls from Japan and I have another video with the accessories and the Daiso stuff so don't forget to look at them and I don't know when I will release what but I have at least 10 to 20 videos of my travels and all the cute stuff and cool stuff that I've seen while in Tokyo so if you are not subscribed yet please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the cool stuff that I will post and remember I post a video every two days so plenty of stuff to watch 
So if you liked that video, please consider liking it. And see you soon. Bye-bye.